your hey dudes how you doing insane hope you're doing well hope you are healthy what we're gonna talk about today dragon age because i let this kind of like slip under the rug but we are just gonna get back on it for those of you who for some reason don't know dragon age dreadwolf is a game that bioware has been working on for a while and they've been trying to just take us through their experience anyway ooh. I made a mistake. <laughs> Been a hot minute. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what's what's next. So let's just strap in and go for it. For those of you who haven't come to my channel, hey, just give me a little subscribe. Just give me a little like. I'd, re I'd really appreciate it. If you don't like it, that's okay. But if you do like it, just come on, join the club. <laughs> Hello, in my last blog back in February, I talked about the next Dragon Age game entering the production phase. Well, we've come a very long way since then. And the team is incredibly happy to announce a huge step forward in the development of the game you now know as Dragon Age Dreadwolf. We have just completed our alpha milestone. Up to this point, we've been working hard on various parts of the game, but it's not until the alpha milestone that a game all comes together. Now, for the first time, we can experience the entire game from the opening scenes of the first mission to the very end. We can see, hear, feel, and play everything as a cohesive experience. Just straight off the bat, I do appreciate how Bioware is just not bullshitting anyone i think that it's really nice that they kind of like take us with them in their production process because we all know that bioware's name is just trash at this point it's cool that you've kind of you're kind of like seeing a different different side of them kind of seeing like they're desperately trying to move their focus towards their single player experiences and just focus on what they do best which is single player experiences so just as the blog post said an alpha is essentially well a playable game it just needs polishing essentially so there still may be major bugs there still may be hey you know textures that don't load right you know stuff like that like that is still present in some alpha builds but it essentially means that most of it the meat and potatoes of the entire thing is already done so that's a really good thing because at the end of the day that means that we're probably going to see the game sooner rather than later. Now what? Of course the game is not finished by any means, but Alpha is one of the most important game development milestones for a number of reasons. First and foremost, we can now turn our sights towards bringing the visual fidelity to its final form and iterating on gameplay features. The big question now is, where do we focus our efforts? To answer that, we solicit feedback from a number of sources, including our community council members, who each have unique perspectives and experiences, our quality verification team, and extensive internal playtesting. Gathering feedback from multiple sources gives us the greatest insight on where we need to spend more time improving the experience. I really think that this is an important thing. They clearly were not taking any feedback <laughs> for Anthem. They were not taking any feedback for Andromeda. It feels like they're learning from that, you know? It feels like they're taking their community and they're taking other people into account before they be like, yeah, everyone wants another multiplayer game. We're just so excited for them. Before doing that, it's nice that they're actually talking to people and getting their opinion and kind of like bettering themselves based on those opinions. I think that's really nice. The fact that they have a community council now, I don't know if they had it before, but if they have it now and they're actually using them correctly, I think that's wonderful because that does mean that it's not gonna stray too away from what fans hopefully are expecting. Additionally, we can now evaluate the game's pacing, how relationships evolve over time, and the player's progression, as well as narrative cohesion, essentially how the story comes together. We can take the story we've written and see if we're expressing it well through the characters, dialogue, cinematics, and ultimately the player's journey. Now that we have the ability to do a complete playthrough, we can iterate and polish on the things that matter most to our fans. I do remember that cohesion in the last couple of games have not been there cohesion went on vacation cohesion just was like you know i'm gonna call out today <laughs> there was nothing cohesive about andromeda and there was nothing cohesive about anthem like the relationships weren't as impactful as maybe the original trilogy in andromeda and the fact that they're focusing specifically on those relationships specifically on that storytelling is a great thing because we all go to bioware for storytelling this is their main selling point so seeing that they're focusing on this again is a really good sign in my opinion obviously hey it's still a big company <laughs> don't trust big companies they will screw you over but I think that it's a good omen. 
Hitting Alpha was a culmination of so much effort from the entire team, and we used this milestone as an opportunity to come together and celebrate. We held a hybrid style event with people on site while others joined remotely, and the team showcased their work to everyone at BioWare. We even took some time to do something fun and non-work related, a virtual escape room where we had to work together to help someone on camera find their way out. It was really a great time, and no matter where our devs are, it's important to share these types of moments together. For someone who works at a relatively big company and just being a small part of that. It's really cool to see those kind of opportunities because they don't really happen very often. Having those kind of like team building moments where we're all working towards one project and then we all work together to, I, I don't know. I think that in terms of work environment, that helps a lot and happy devs make great games start to finish now that we're finally able to experience the entire game for me my favorite part is the characters whether followers allies or villains they're woven into the game in ways that take a concept that's always been a part of the dragon age dna stories about people and push it further than ever before the characters help contextualize the world and the stakes and i can't wait until we're able to start really discussing them in depth focus on characters great bioware let's keep it that way it's also exciting to finally be able to bring our fans to parts of the world that we've previously hinted at but never been able to fully explore like the city of minrathus 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 i don't know that one the capital of the tevinter empire we've talked about minrathus in previous games and now you'll finally be able to visit it's a city built on and fueled by magic and the ways in which that has come through in its visual identity and what that looks like in comparison to previous cities we visited in Dragon Age are pretty spectacular. We were right, it is in Tevinter, and we are going to be able to visit a Tevinter city, which I think is amazing. If the visuals that we saw before, like in teaser stuff like that, is anything to go by in terms of style, I think it's going to be really cool, because it's kind of like replacing certain things that technology does, like oh, it's fancy lighting and stuff like that, with magic, which is so cool. I am a magic user in the Dragon Age universe, and I think it's dope. You know, like uh, you can do swords and daggers and stuff like that in the real world. No one wants that. Okay, I give me some magic. You know, let me burn someone alive. <laughs> yeah, that was too much. Overall, I just think it's really cool that we get to explore to Vinter because the Vinter has been talked about forever and we haven't been able to even see it. So this is really cool. As I mentioned earlier, the alpha milestone is an extremely important one for us, but there's more work to be done. We also want to continue being transparent with you, our community, and keep you up to date on what we're crafting. Hopefully you've been enjoying our development updates on Dreadwolf this year and we'll be looking to share more in the future. In closing, of course, Dreadwolf isn't the only thing happening here at Bioware. We have a team hard at work envisioning what the future holds for a new single-player Mass Effect game, and we look forward to celebrating our community on N7 Day next month. The Swutor team, I know it's not like that, but I'm just gonna say it like that, also continues to work on their next update, so keep an eye on Swutor and their social media accounts for any and all details on the coming game update. It's an incredible time at Bioware. We have so many cool things to show you in the future. Until then, thanks for being a part of our community. We couldn't do this without you. Stay well, and the dude's name, Gary. What do I think about this whole thing? Honestly, it's crazy. I think that it's really cool how Bioware is being so transparent with their community and they're just kind of like taking it slow. I think that's a really good step in the right direction when it comes to changing the image that we mentally had of Bioware after the release of Andromeda and Anthem. This is a really nice thing. It seems like they're kind of like taking it easy. They're getting back to their roots again. You know, they're enjoying their work. Or that's what it seems like. And that's awesome. That's a really cool thing. If uh, eh, eh, if any of this is something to go by, right? Because they could be talking shit. <laughs> and, I, and I could just be falling for it like a fool. Are you guys excited for the next Dragon Age? I'm... I'm kind of excited. I think it's kind of cool. Cautiously, but I think it's cool. And that's kind of it, you know? I should transition into something else. I should be like, oh, you know, check this other video. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, click out whenever you want. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wolves as well. Join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching, my dudes, and I hope you have a good one. Bye. What? Why did I do that wrong? Woo! Now it's great. Hell yeah. <laughs>